James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, today is March 29th, 2022. 4 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting a consensus out of NOAA and NASA. This is an update that was just released. They're looking for a strong G3 geomagnetic storm on March 31st now. I'm going to read the release. A G3 strong geomagnetic storm watch is now in effect for the 31st of March 2022. A second faster coronal mass ejection CME erupted later on the 28th of March associated with an M1 flare at 3.23 p.m. EDT time, 1923 UTC time. Analysis indicates that the coronal mass ejection speed as approximately 841 kilometers per second, and model guidance suggests this CME will overtake the day's earlier CME and arrive during the early evening of the 30th of March, which is just what I told y'all would happen into early morning or March 31st. Forecast confidence of an Earth-directed component is very good with moderate confidence of timing and intensity. Moderate confidence of timing and intensity. Additionally, a G1 minor watch is in effect for March 30th, 2022. For likely effects from the initial CME shock arrival and a G2 moderate watch is in effect for April Fool's Day, April 1st, 2022, in anticipation of continuing but weakening CME influences. When the CME approaches Earth, NOAA's Discover satellite will detect the real-time solar wind changes and SWPC forecasters will issue an appropriate warning. Impacts to technology from a G3 storm generally remain small, but NASA is expecting the auroras to head very far south this go-around, if you will. Auroras may be visible over the northern tier United States if the conditions are favorable. For additional information, visit our phenomena pages at Space Weather, Geomagnetic Storm, CMEs, and Auroras, and viewing tips. NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center is the official source for space weather forecasts, watches, warnings, and alerts. So, ladies and gentlemen, visit spaceweather.gov for updates. Learn about Solar Cycle 25 and what it has in store for you. God bless you and yours, folks. I'm telling y'all, the 30th. Please prepare. Please share. And uh, remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World.